What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here back again with another quick trade video. This is probably going to be one of the biggest names traded today, if not the biggest name. We know how the NHL trade deadline works some days. There's almost no trades sometimes and then there's other days uh, or other times uh, in years past where there's been a bunch of trades. But John Gabriel Pajot from the Ottawa Senators is going to the New York Islanders. Lou Lamarillo working in silence again. That's usually what he does. And then he comes out and makes a big move. Now, the package is pretty substantial. I think it's a little bit of an overpayment. But considering the fact that the Islanders need scoring and they're a team that's going to be going for it, they want to try to win. Uh, I mean, that this is the price you're going to have to pay. And Kreider is going to get a huge return if this is what Pajot got. Uh, and that's no diss to Pajot. I just feel like Kreider might have a little bit more value to some people. So Bruce Garich of the Ottawa Sun tweeted out that the Sens will get a first in 2020, a second in 2020, and a third in 2022 in exchange for Pajot in a trade uh, from the Isles. Now, there's conditions on all the picks, I believe. Uh, Elliot Friedman is tweeting them out right now, I believe. So if New York Islanders 2020 pick is in the top three, it will move up to the uh it'll move over to 2021 so uh that's the first condition i i'm not sure if there's any more conditions on it um but anyways i i think that this is just an absolutely huge haul for them uh, if we're looking at pajo's numbers this year in 60 games played he has 40 points He's having a career year, uh, pretty much like he only needs three points to tie his career high, and there's still a bunch of games left for him to do that, so he's obviously going to do it. He has 24 goals, the most he scored in his career, uh, and 16 assists. And uh, last season, he only played in 39 games played and had 12 points the year before that, 22. But this guy's consistently, when he's healthy, going to get you, um, you know, 30, 40 plus points. So that's pretty substantial he's in the last year of his 3.1 million dollar contract apparently the senators uh were working on a deal with him quite a bit uh, for for quite a bit of time uh they were making some progress but not enough obviously where they could hold on to this guy they didn't want to uh to make this move or not make this move and have him just move on for absolutely nothing so this is this is substantial this is insane uh what a move for the islanders they needed to get some more scoring they, they needed to go out there and acquire somebody that made sense and uh pajo is going to fit right in with this team he's going to help them score uh he's not the biggest guy but you know the he knows how to put up points and he's been putting up points on a, a not very good ottawa senators team so with an islanders team that yes they're struggling to score but with a hell of a lot more talent you know that he's gonna bring it he's gonna bring it and it's and it's gonna be really good for them only 27 years old too so if they feel like they can hold on to him sign him to a deal if it makes sense for Pajo as well if he wants to stay there then uh, Lou's gonna try to make that happen um, okay so there's also some other conditions here Darren Dreger just tweeted out so again I'll remind you of the first one Pajo to the Isles for a first in 2020 that shifts to a first in 2021 if the Isles pick in the top three in the June draft of course that's probably not going to happen uh, there's no conditions on the second round pick in 2020 uh, conditional third if the Isles uh, win the Stanley Cup this year only so there's the conditions uh, people are saying it's basically just a first and a second now obviously because of that third would end up uh, meaning that they would win the Stanley Cup if they got that so it's a potential for third pick uh, for th for a third pick but you're getting a first and a second that's that's pretty nice so uh, again Pajot to the Islanders stay tuned for more videos because more trades are coming uh, Nemestikov also got traded to the Avalanche for a fourth round pick that happened earlier I didn't think I would make a video on that one but this one I had to so stay tuned for more videos and uh, I'll see you guys later peace